Hi, in this video I'm going to present a short tutorial on how to add a unified email signature and disclaimer for all users in Exchange 2016. First thing I have to do is to access Exchange Admin Center. Great, now onto the Mailflow rules. Here I can add a new rule which will append the email signature. I want to use some extra features which I cannot see right now, so I click More Options right away. In this field I name my new rule. Next I have to decide when Exchange should insert the email signature. Let's say I would like to have it in emails sent outside the company. So I apply this rule if the sender is inside the organization, the recipient is external. Now I have to type in the HTML code of my email signature. There's no time to create the template from scratch, so I'll download a pre-made template from mailsignatures.com. Now I have to edit the template so that it's compatible with Exchange 2016. Using Notepad I can replace all the curly braces with double percent symbols. After that I delete spaces in properties names. Well, you can find full list of supported Active Directory attributes in the video description, so that you can add more of your user's data to the email signature if you like. Ok, and the last thing here is giving a valid web link to my company's page. That should do it. Next thing is choosing what to do with messages which cannot be modified with a Mailflow rule, such as encrypted messages. I can send the original message as an attachment to a message containing only my email signature with wrap option. Or I can send the original message simply without my signature with ignore. Finally I can block such messages and send a non-delivery report to the sender with the reject option. Because my email signature contains disclaimer which I want to be in every message, I choose wrap. Now I want to add an exception. I will copy a part of my disclaimer and paste it in here. Thanks to that I won't have my email signatures piling up at the bottom of conversations. Finally, time to apply the changes. The rule should work already, so I'll check if it appends my email signature. I'll send a test email to one of my imaginary colleagues, and when John opens the email, here is my signature with all parameters imported from Active Directory. Well done! If you want to know more about email signatures, visit our blog. If you want to automatically add email signatures under the latest reply or view your email signatures and disclaimers in sent items folder, or if you're interested in much more email signature management features, check out Code2Software at code2.com. Thanks for watching.